It's a Saturday and I have not a single thing to do. And honestly, I'm in a really foul mood and didn't sleep well last night. So we're gonna spend the day trying to fix my mood and find things to do so I don't get into a further bad headspace. I feel like sometimes like I just wake up on a weekend with nothing to do. I moved to Kansas City in September and it being February now, like I've been here for a little bit, but not a long time. And a lot of that was like holidays, so it was hard to kind of like meet people and do stuff. So I'm in like this weird spot now of like, I know some people, but a lot of times like they might not be particularly available and like, I just don't have, I don't have a lot of, I don't know, people to like fill my daily life. So I'm like kind of trying to build that, but none of my friends that I do have here are free today. So it's kind of a solo day. I think I might try a few other like more just like friendly acquaintances and see if they're maybe down to do some stuff but yeah and i just i tend to get in a little bit of a bad headspace when i have like not a single plan for the day and i'm spending it by myself like i just get i get a little funky and there were some things like last night too that just like put me in a funky mood so anyways we're gonna try to fill my day i'm gonna go to a yoga class i'm kind of tight on time but it's fine. I think I'll still make it there. I've been going to yoga almost every day, but this past week I was just like tired and just didn't feel like it. That's probably contributing to my poor mood. <sighs> okay, let's get zen. <laughs> I got my mat, my bottle. Let's go, girls. Okay, she's a, she's a tired girl. I had never taken that instructor before. And it was a guy instructor. And honestly, normally I just, I just don't take male instructors. We don't have very many. But normally I just won't take male instructors because I'm just like more comfortable with women. And I feel like, I don't know, sometimes when I've been in other like group fitness classes that have male instructors it's made me like self-conscious i don't know so i normally like stay away if there's like another option at a similar time that i want to do but i just like took this class and i really like that instructor and now i feel like i need to give more dude instructors a chance i don't really know that i'm in any better of a mood but i am proud of myself for getting up and doing something good for my body and i had missed a lot of yoga classes this past week <sighs> damn no thoughts just vibes I guess dude I ran out of water while I was at that class and at the end I normally like chug because it's a hot yoga class you know and it's like a power vinyasa flow so it's a little more of like a workout workout and I like felt my water get to the end I wanted to cry oh my god also I felt so awkward. okay this I when I look away to talk to you I'm like dripping water on my hands so sorry I can't really look at you but I felt so awkward when I got into class because there weren't a lot of spots left in the class. I'm just like in the room physically. And one of the only spots left was like directly in front of this girl. Like she, if I went in front of her, she wouldn't be able to see herself in the mirror. But the only like other spot left besides that was like crammed up against the mirror in the corner. And she still had room to like stagger over behind me if she wanted to like once I went in front of her So I like took the spot in front of her because I like didn't want to be pushed up against the corner Oh That was so nice. Sorry, but I like didn't want to be pushed up against her in the corner So I like took the spot in front of her and I felt so awkward and I heard her whisper something to her friend And I kind of felt like a jerk, but I just didn't know where else to go and there was still room to where she could have like pulled to the side behind me but that was kind of awkward I think I might text some more like friendly acquaintance type of girls and see if anyone wants to grab lunch with me today in like a few hours or something because I'm just like I just don't feel like hanging by myself like I just want to be around some girlies I want to be around some girlies and I want to get a little lunch or do a little outing I don't know there's a little like flea market thing downtown at the river market area and then maybe I'll go to that but it would be so much better like with someone so I don't know 
Maybe one of them will want to get lunch with me. I do need to like do a long walk with my pup. Okay. I'm going to text that group and see if anyone wants to grab lunch. Then I'm going to do a long walk with the pup. And then I'm going to shower. Make a little breakfast. Alright. Good plan. Good plan, team. Okay, Paige. Hi, baby doggy. Okay, ask the girls. Hopefully at least one of them wants to do something. If not, that's okay. I can do so later. I just don't want to. I almost walked outside without my keys and that would have been quite bad. I got one yes so far for lunch. It's like always weird to kind of like ask people to do stuff when like you're not like bestie bestie with them. But I feel like people usually end up wanting to do things so I'm kind of just like trying to do it more, you know? Paisley, did you have fun? I had fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> Literally. I know. Paisley just really wanted to say hi to you. Um, dang, it's like hot now. Oh, but. Okay, I got one yes so far for a little. Hi, pumpkin. River Market peruse and lunch. So that's exciting. And even if it's just one yes, sometimes one-on-one -on -one time is nice. Like, Paisley, I'm, I'm trying to talk to our friends. But yeah, so even if only one person can, I think it'll be nice to like get a little like quality like one-on-one -on -one time. I haven't hung out with this person one-on-one, -on -one, so that'll be really nice and she's really cool. Let's shower. Well, you're not gonna shower with me, that'd be weird. But that's what I'm gonna do. You should shower if you are uncleanly today. If you're in your depression funk, take a shower. Wait, how do we feel about this fit? Like, I feel like this is very springtime, and technically it's not spring, but I think it's cute. And it's like a little warmer today. I'm not obsessed with it though. Maybe that's because I still have my hair in this. Sorry if this strap is annoying, because I just got out of the shower, but I was like, I might as well put on the clothes I'm gonna use to like go over. This top goes with a skirt like a matching skirt but it's not warm enough for that i do i think i do want to wear this top but maybe switch the pants maybe put on leggings i don't know what i am gonna do put some leave-in conditioner in my hair i was always like a big fan of the way leave-in conditioner but there was none when i like ran out so i tried this other brand it's the Kristen s one and it's not bad but it's just not as good as the way like way it's top notch leave-in conditioner. Okay, so I'm gonna go down to like the market and then I want to peruse the vendors. It's like a little flea market. So I wanna peruse some of the vendors for a bit, grab some lunch, and I'm bringing a book too. And maybe like there's like a river walk out there, maybe find a nice place to sit and read, maybe just go for a walk. I don't really know. And then I'll probably run some errands do a little shopping or something, but so it's like the vibes. <laughs> Throwing things at myself. I always forget that this has thumb holes. I never use them, but I think it's cool, you know? I think I'm just gonna leave the outfit. I think I'm thinking about it too much. It's probably fine, but I am gonna do something with my hair. What I do have of Way today is this hair oil that I love. Way hair oil slays. I washed my hair in the shower today, but I also washed it yesterday and I probably shouldn't have washed it today. I've gotten down for the most part. I wash it like once a week and I am a naturally oily haired girl and used to wash it every day because it would get so bad but I've been like trying to not to just leave my hair like that just leave it down oh my god did a friend text me yeah but I'm not gonna reply to that we're gonna do I think really light makeup today but I still want something on my face oh I need more primer that's gotta go on my list today I have like a running list today of just like things I want to get while I'm out. So this is remnants. Oh, it's like not even coming out. Wah, wah. Okay. 
I have one other thing of the same primer, but I think it's also like at the very bottom. And this is Milani uh, Brightening Under Eye Tint in shade Rose. And it helps a lot with like under eye brightening. And I love it. So I always do that. Like a lot of times I don't even do concealer under my eyes. Like I don't bother. I need more of this too, a green color corrector for like redness, little acne spots. I was breaking out so bad and I think I finally stopped, but then I got this one new breakout right here. So I was like, oh, joy. Joy to the world for the longest time. Then I do it around my nose because my nose just like gets red. Uh, for the longest time, like my jawline, like all along here has struggled with acne so bad and like the rest of my face will be completely clear and it'll just be that and I don't know why that is but okay we're gonna Tula skin tint it up mm, I'm gonna see if I can just do this directly on my face because normally I put this like on the back of my hand or something but ah oh, I can't I think it's too far too far gone maybe directly on the brush Woo. That's fine. But I love this because it has SPF in it too. It's just a really nice light skin tint. I love like a your skin but better type of look. And I just, I don't understand why Tula skin tint hasn't like taken off. Because it's so nice. And I don't know if like maybe on other skin types or something people don't like it. I don't know. But I like, I haven't heard people say like good or bad things about it. Like I'm the only person I know who like talks about it. <laughs> like I feel like people don't even realize it exists. And I'm like, no, you don't understand the magic. It's so pretty. It's light. It has SPF. The girlies who get it, get it. We're going to contour a bit. I love a good contour moment. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour in Mink. I think because I have like a rounder face, it makes me feel better when I contour. Even though I feel like rounder faces are not looked down on as much as they used to be but even then if i can make it look just like a little bit longer i like to and i love a good chiseled cheekbone moment i don't usually do my nose sometimes i do but i just i would have to switch brushes <laughs> so and i don't feel like switching brushes right now so i'm not going to okay we're going nars dolce vita shade their powder blush the light light dusting I had a dream that like a gin alpha told me that only old people like dot powder in like this like powder blush they were like only old people do it that way we'll go for a little bit of eyeshadow I really wish I was better at eyeshadow but I'm just not so I, I almost always like use this palette and just take like a super like neutral shade and like just lightly like when other people do eyeshadow on me like whenever I have it professionally done I'm like oh that's so nice like I should do that more but I never do <laughs> I'm about to need more setting powder too this is almost gone but this is a favorite this flower setting powder I love it when I can hear the birds outside. When I was outside earlier though, those birds were sounding like aggressive. But from my apartment, they sound great. <laughs> and Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Merit Tubing Mascara is my favorite, favorite mascara I've used in a really long time. It is so immaculate looking. And then I think I want to do just a little bit of brow gel. This is NYX Stick It Stick It. I've had this for so long though and it's like basically gone. I definitely need more. But it just adds like a little bit of pigment and helps me like brush them and keep them put a little better. I think that's going to be it for makeup. I will put some earrings in. I think earrings would be good. Oh. And then I also wear this Kendra Scott ring like 
all the time. I made it at their color bar where you get to like pick the type of jewelry you want, like and the stone. I think pearls would with, with this would be good, right? Yeah, I think pearls. Okay, I gotta figure out what I wanna bring with me because this is the bag I'm taking. It's already a little heavy and I kind of feel like I should empty some of it out. Like it is the most random stuff in here that like I just don't even touch. Maybe start with taking the umbrella out because it's definitely not gonna rain today. I don't need to bring this. Because I, I have a thing about my water bottle. I like to be with my water bottle, but it is, she's a heavy girl. And, I want to bring a book because I think it'd be nice to like sit somewhere and read a book. And I gotta put obviously my wallet in there. I've had this wallet, this like really faded Michael Kors wallet for probably 10 years. Um, Cause I just never really care about my wallet, but I'm like maybe if I had a nice wallet, I'd care more. Is this sufficient? Is this sufficient? Can I? I just would love to be able to have my water bottle, but if it's gonna be like obnoxiously heavy. Oh, that's actually, I think that's okay. No, it's not okay. If it, it's okay if I'm like going in and out of somewhere, but not if I'm walking. I'm gonna leave it. I for sure wouldn't stop at like a little coffee shop. That might be, oh, um, I haven't had coffee at all today. That's why I'm in a bad mood. You should have told me, you should have brought it up. I thought we were friends. I do need to put shoes on before I walk out the door. That would be good. Hey, baby. I think I'm going to wear these. These, like, I feel like these look good with the color of, like, this, you know? slightly colder than I predicted it to be so I don't really want to like hang out outside but that was fun we did like a little lunch I got this bowl thing but honestly it wasn't really that good and I got this juice let me show you this juice because in theory doesn't this look like it would be really good like it's just a nice cold pressed juice and it's grapefruit honeydew strawberry lime mint it sounds like it would be really good right this was not good I only drank it because I bought it and it's like what I got with my lunch but I don't know, it became tolerable after I just like kept drinking it, but I didn't love it. So now I'm trying to decide like, do I want to maybe find a really sunny spot where I can just sort of sit and read? Do I want to go run some errands first? Do I want to do a little bit of shopping? Cause I didn't buy anything here. Um, and I could kind of, did a bird poop on my window? <gasps> It did. I fixed it. Anyways. But yeah, it's 3 p.m. Let's see. I think I want to go run those like couple errands of like those few things I wanted to get. And maybe do a little clothes shopping, but I just don't really need to spend money. I don't really need to be spending money. I don't know. I do feel like I'm in a marginally better mood. Nothing crazy, but a little bit better. I lost a nail. A nail. When these were like press-on nails. I think I'm at the point where I'm just gonna take them all off because they're like slowly coming off. Do I like soak them in hot water or something? But anyways, I lost this one while I was out. It's okay. Okay, let's I guess go run some errands. Okay, decided I'm gonna go to a thrift store. Even though I don't need to clothing shop because clothing shopping makes me feel better, um, but I don't wanna spend a lot of money. So we're gonna hit a thrift store and see how that is and then probably run the like couple of errands or maybe I'll do those little errands in the morning. We'll see. Okay, starting with the thrift store though. Because buy clothes, feel better, but not spend very many money. Okay, sounds good. Well, that was honestly kind of depressing. I found nothing and honestly I didn't even end up looking that hard or like finish looking through everything because I started getting overwhelmed and like in my not good feels so I think I'm just gonna head home probably 
<sighs> I'm like, is there any other errand that I wouldn't hate to do, you know? But yeah, I just started getting overwhelmed with like, oh God, what do I really need? What am I actually gonna spend money on? Do I actually like this enough? Like, what's my vibe right now? I don't know. I just want to do things that like feel good to me today and that wasn't feeling nice. And someone left my text on red. That's annoying. Lame. Anyways, maybe I'll try another one of their stores tomorrow. They have like several locations, but this is one I normally come to and I always find stuff. But maybe I need to try a different one. Maybe I need to give another one a go. But we're gonna do it tomorrow because I don't have it in me today. I think I'll probably go home and like read and be a potato or something. I tried, I tried. Wait, I'm so happy. I had just gotten home and I took my jewelry off. I threw some sweatpants on and I was like, well, I have nothing else to do today. I guess I'm kind of in for the night, whatever. It's fine, I guess. I'm in a little bit of a bad mood. And then someone came through with the group chat and was like, I'm going with a few friends to BRGR at six if anyone wants to come. And I was like, you bet your bottom dollar, girly. You bet your bottom dollar I do. I have nothing else to do today. And a few others are gonna come too, so that'll be fun. I'm so happy now. So I'm gonna leave in like five minutes, but I lost a thumbnail too. I guess this is the day to lose nails. And now my nails look like this going to dinner, but it's a casual dinner spot, so I'm sure it's fine. But anyways, yay, yay. Okay, that was so fun. That made me so happy. And I'm gonna make a little dessert now. Oh, and I took all my nails off in the shower with like the hot water. I was like, it's just time. They're just coming off. So I'll do them in gel probably tomorrow morning. Okay, we're gonna make a little, we're gonna make a little dessert. I need a little sweet treat to round out my evening. Even though I already feel so bloated from burgers and fries and a beer, I don't, my body doesn't like those things. My, I do. My mouth does, just not my body. <laughs> That really was so fun though. Like I'm trying to be really good about just saying yes to stuff. And obviously today I still wanted to do things, but I'm trying to be good about like saying yes when people ask me to do things, ask me to hang out, like, because I, I want just a really full life. I want to have fun. I want to enjoy myself. I want to make friends and oh, oh, she's messy. She's a messy girl. Whoops. But yeah, like I'm just, I'm really trying to have a yes year, if you will, for the most part. And just trying things, you didn't just watch me scrape that off my counter into this cup. You didn't watch that, that didn't happen. Yeah, I'm really, really trying to just have a year of saying yes to things. And previously I would have like overthought in a lot of social situations and been like, am I gonna feel weird? Or would I prefer to stay at home? And like, at this point in my life, I'm like, Screw it, like, I wanna, I wanna meet people, I wanna do things. When I'm invited to stuff, I want to say yes and I want to have fun and enjoy myself and just be myself. And I think that's how the right people and the right things are going to come into my life. And then you keep getting the invite, right? Like if you say yes to stuff, like you keep getting the invite. My camera died while I was finishing making this. But yeah, I make these little <laughs> dessert things I never like fully cook it, but chef's kiss. It's basically like a cake in a mug type of deal. And yeah, I'm just, I'm really, back to what we were chatting about. I'm really trying to make this a year of yes for like social stuff and just getting out of my comfort zone and knowing that like I am kind of cool to hang out with. Like I try to be engaging in conversation and like, try to be a good person to spend time with. And so it's like, I think I used to be kind of insecure about like, do people like talking to me? Am I annoying? Am I too quiet? Am I being too loud? Like all of those things. Well, now I'm at the point where I'm like, I think I'm actually pretty cool. And I'm confident with that. And if other people don't like being around it, they don't have to be around me, right? So yeah, I just really, want to like get to a place where like I feel like I have a lot of people around me and I'm living my life to its fullest and I'm glad that even though today honestly started out like pretty bad like you were here <laughs> I was not having it 
I, I'm feeling generally better. Like I feel honestly pretty good now. And I'm going to lay on the sofa. I'm going to watch some Miss Universe stuff on YouTube. So I'm a pageant girly. I'm Miss Kansas City, USA. And I compete for the title of Miss Missouri, USA this June, which if I win that, then I go to Miss USA. If I win Miss USA, I go to Miss Universe. So it's like part of the system, you know? But yeah, so I'm going to sit here and watch this on YouTube for a little bit. And then I think I'm going to read. I'll probably come get you when, when I read. I don't know. Sweet. Why am I genuinely such a baby? Because I'm already nauseous. I was going to go read. We just talked about this. I was going to go get in bed and read. I'm so nauseous now. And I know it's from the red meat that I almost never eat. I haven't had a burger in actually so long. I haven't had red meat in actually so long. And I thought I would just be perfectly fine to just eat the whole burger. Nope, that's a mistake. And then you put the fries and the beer on top of it. I don't know why I was so delusional. So now I'm gonna do some skincare. I did take some ibuprofen, so I also started getting a headache. Should I tell you I was putting retinoid on my face? Yeah, this is the retinoid I use. I really, really like it. Um, from Naturium. Naturium? I don't know how I'm supposed to say it, but clearly it's, it's almost gone. It's a winner. Dude, I, I'm gonna die. I like hate throwing up so much. Don't throw up, don't throw up. Sorry, that's so gross. I'm so gross. Maybe when I brush my teeth, that'll like help me to feel marginally better. I did drink like a good amount of water, but yeah, I've just been like scrolling on my phone and like trying to like convince myself to read because I did genuinely just really want to read. I hate it. I hate it so much, guys. You have to scooch, please. Scooch. Scoochie. Thank you, baby. Well, here I am in my misery, going to try to sleep. Anyways, ending this day how we started it, feeling unwell. No, I'm kidding. It was like a good day, besides like the beginning and the end. Ah! Okay, love you, bye.